Rhodes University Chancellor's Community Recognition Award was created in 1998 to recognize the efforts of individuals and organizations whose actions or service has made an outstanding contribution to their community and to humanity. In addition to the award citation they will receive, the recipient's name is inscribed on the plaque you see here on the stage today, which is kept on display at Royal Roads University. It is my pleasure to announce this year's recipient, Louise Rose. <laughs> Louise Rose has been a powerful voice for making music and inspiring change in our community. Born in Pennsylvania, Louise spent her childhood immersed in music and was conducting her grandfather's church choir by the age of eight. She came to Victoria in the 1970s and fell in love with the city, and the city fell in love with her. An accomplished pian pianist, vocalist, composer, and arranger, Louise uses her talents to bring people together through music. She has worked with many prominent artists such as Aretha Franklin and Ray Charles. But equally rewarding for her is giving a voice to the young, the sick, and the disadvantaged. Louise's Open Door Choir at Our Place offers members of Victoria's homeless and at-risk community an opportunity to connect in a positive setting and get a melodic boost to their self-esteem. As the musical guide for We Rage, We Weep, Alzheimer's Foundation, she encourages patients to express themselves through song and have some fun. And for 15 years, Louise has been leading the Victoria Good News Choir which is open to all and regularly performs in hospitals and care facilities. Members of her choirs and members of her audiences say the same thing. Louise's positive attitude and smile are contagious, and I can certainly agree with that, having spent last evening with her, and that is certainly an accurate description. Louise is also passionate about working with youth. She's been an artist in residence at a number of high schools and gives workshops across North America. By giving young people the support and space they need to express themselves and work together, Louise is helping to build future generations of collaborative leaders. In recent years, Louise has been working with Government House and the Salvation Army to raise funds to create residential care for young women who are recovering from substance abuse. Perhaps Louise's words, quote, you are worthy simply because you're breathing, quote, best explain the value she places on giving back to all members of her community. For her outstanding contributions to community building, Royal Roads University is proud to present Louise Rose with a Chancellor's Community Recognition Award. Councillor Mikkelsen, President Cahoon, faculty, you all sure look good. <laughs> Distinguished guests, graduands, this is, uh, it's a, yes it is baby, <laughs> this is a very special day. In, in my life, I am deeply grateful for this award. My sister reminds me that it is an honor to receive an award while one is still breathing. I find myself astonished when I attempt to come to terms with a scientific reality that each of us comes from the same source. 
which actually means that all of you are my cousins. <laughs> that is a frightening thought sometimes. <laughs> Many of you know that music is the metaphor for life for me. In it and through it, I'm challenged to find the answers to my life's most important questions. And it's how to live together in the communities in which each of us lives with a measure of respect. It is a daily challenge. The research and discoveries are unending and assure me that this work is perhaps as close as I will ever come to everlasting life. When I was a little girl, there was a deacon in the church where my grandfather was the minister, the New Macedonia Baptist Church in Norristown, Pennsylvania and his name was James Perry. As a youngster, I just considered him a huge man. He was six feet, eight inches tall, which is huge. <laughs> when you're a child. As a young adult, I just considered him slow. As a university graduate, he became ignorant. Because I had all this learning, don't you know? I'd been to school. Perhaps Mr. Perry had a grade two education. Today, as a near 70-year-old, I realize Mr. Perry was one of the wisest people to ever draw breath. He prayed the same prayer. I quote, this evening, our Heavenly Father, it's once more and again that a few of your believing children bow down before you to turn unto you our humble thanks. We don't bow for no form or fashion or for no outside show to an unfriendly world. We just bow because we love you. Give us the love that flows from heart to heart, from mind to mind, from breast to breast. And let us breathe our lives out sweetly there. After being ordained, I discovered that there are other kinds of music and other kinds of words that say the same things. And to you graduates, I leave you with this. I wish I could move away from this thing. Just... <laughs> 1960, I leave you with this. Words by Betty Comden and Adolph Green. Music by Julie Stein from the musical Do Re Mi. I've learned other ways to pray. Graduates, I'm telling you, fame, if you win it, comes and goes in a minute. Where's the real stuff in life to cling to? Love is the answer. The text, the original text says someone to love is the answer. 
And I just say love is the answer. And when you find it, make it your life. Fall in love with something, folks. If music is your metaphor, or politics is your metaphor, or taking care of people's feet, or healing their hearts, the most honorable work in the world, foot care. <laughs> now you think about it. Affecting large numbers of people is a lovely thing. We would all like to think we could do that. Affecting the life of one other person changes the world. Thank you. <laughs>